Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, today I'd like to show you my new Extreme Ratio knife. Uh, this knife is made in Italy, uh, which almost guarantees that it's high quality. I have no idea how you pronounce the name of that, so I'm not going to even attempt it. That's it there, that's the model. And it comes in this enormous box, which is surprising because it's a folding knife and it comes opened in this very uh, peeling sheath I really like this, it's uh, just so, it's so unusual and just a completely different approach uh, this is designed for military use it's uh, got molly attachments on the back if you wanted to put that on a backpack or a chest rig or something uh, it also has this uh, sort of rubberized um, I don't know what you'd call that harness or whatever to hold the knife in but that's not even necessary because in built in here somewhere it is magnetized there are magnets built in and it locks the blade in uh, very securely you can feel it grip as soon as it gets to there and also the kydex is um, well molded so that holds it in uh, it's just a strange knife I've never come across a knife like this uh, folding knife like this one it's um, I don't know what sort of steel it is, I've forgotten right now, but not really important. Uh, it's got a strange sort of a tanto tip on the end, a modified tanto. It is double edged right on about the last inch there, and it did come razor sharp out of the box. It's a flipper, but it's not uh, spring assisted, and it's not even particularly smooth to open. You can open it with the flipping mechanism. But you do need to give a little bit of a uh, wrist flick with that. Uh, solidly built and I just think it's uh, extremely high quality. I have got two other Extreme Ratio knives. I have got a video up of them if you wanted to check them out. Uh, as I mentioned, it is made in Italy. And it has a very aggressive glass breaker on the end there. It also has a cutting tool here. Why on earth they would write that on the steel, I don't know. Like uh, you wouldn't just put a piece of paper in the box saying don't cut metal. But that's it there. A uh, little blade there that you can cut um, zip ties or whatever you're using. And as I said, just a great knife as all extreme ratio are in my opinion. It also has a locking mechanism here that's uh, unusual and you just slide that little semi-disc up and put it in the lock position. Really like this knife, uh, pleased with it. Uh, just the fact that it's so unusual and I've never come across anything like it before. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Uh, the other thing I have bought recently is this little hinderer pen. Uh, it's very small if you compare it with a normal size tack pen. Uh, it's sort of a little bit over half the size, two thirds of the size. Uh, I guess that's the downside. Uh, the upside to that is that it does have the Fisher Space Pen uh, refill in it. So that's pressurized and allows you to write under all sorts of harsh conditions. It's got a decent glass breaker, skull breaker, whatever you want to call that, and it's done in digital camo. Uh, that's all I've got except for a little bit of footage that I'm going to roll in of uh, the Boca Jim Wagner reality based blade that I'm holding in the photo on the main page of my YouTube channel. So I'll roll that in now. Um, thanks for watching guys. And take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, okay, so I had some questions uh, about the knife that I'm holding in my hand uh, on the front page of my YouTube channel. Um, and someone wanted to see it. So, that's the one there that I'm holding in the photo. And it's a Boca Jim Wagner Reality Based Blade. Uh, chisel grind, 440C, 
stainless. Uh, it comes with this extra little um, attachment or glass breaker that looks like a pen pen nib. And this is a, just a different spear point version of it. And it's got the glass breaker in a different form. Both of those come with a knife. And then there's the fixed blade version of it, which has this little trigger to uh, exit the sheath. And as you can see, it's a lot bigger blade, mostly serrated. Chisel grind again, and a bloodline uh, carved into the blade there, or machined into the blade, I should say. 440C stainless. I think these are made in Germany, but don't quote me. Uh, certainly it's a German company. Glass breaker again. And this is a big heavy knife. I love this knife. Uh, I haven't got many Boca blades, but that's the ones I own. I think I might have one or two uh, smaller ones. Uh, Alright guys, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching and take care. Bye bye.